Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah Reach and I'm here with my top tips for an amazing headshot. So the first one is to book with a professional. Your headshot is your first impression and you only get one chance to make a really good impression. Um, it's your first impression to casting, it's your first impression to agencies if you're looking for an agent and you just want to look clean, crisp, professional and amazing. So you can research photographers in your area or if you're already assigned to an agency and you're just looking to update your um, headshot or get your first headshot, talk to your agent. Most times they have photographers they love and work with often and they can recommend to you a great photographer and maybe even give you a discount because you're with that certain agency. So you never know. Next thing you want to do is you want to prepare your clothes. Most photographers for headshots will either have a two look package, so two different outfits, or a five look package. Most agents prefer a five look, but a two look is perfect for beginners. It's you can definitely do with a two look for like the first two to three years of your career. And then later as you start booking more and growing your career, you can get a five look package. Or if you are able to start with a five look right away, that's really good. It shows your versatility and your, the different looks you can have as an actor. So you definitely don't want your clothes to distract from your face. They should not have any prints on them. They should be solid colors and different textures. Um, you can add different textures, different layers, things like that. Um, they need to show your personality a little bit. So if you're a professional person, you might want to have one with a suit and tie. If you're uh, you know, really bubbly person, you might want to have one with a really bright color that complements your skin tone, um, things like that. But you always want to bring more options. So if you're looking to do a two look package, bring four outfits because the photographer is also going to help you. Uh, he's going to say, he or she's going to say, that color is for you. And this is, you know, this won't work. They will know what looks good on camera. So it's better to bring more and have them also sort through your looks. And that's actually the first thing they do. When you go to a headshot photographer for your session, they say, okay, pull out your looks. Let's see what, what you have. And also if you're signed to an agency and if you're a beginner, most likely your agent is going to contact you um, and help you put those looks together and say, okay, like, what do you have in your wardrobe? Um, you know, what kind of colors, you know, do you have? Like, I think these will look good on you. And you definitely want to listen to what your agent says because they're going to know what kind of type you are and they'll be able to direct you into finding clothes that fit your own personality, but also fit the type that they're going to submit you for. You also want to have natural looking hair and makeup. You need to look like you. You can't put all glam and eyelashes and all kinds of stuff. you got to do natural looking makeup and everyday hair. Let's say, you know, you're on a random day, you're running some errands, hanging out with friends, and you get a call from your agent saying, you have an audition in three hours. Can you make it? How you look in that audition, you should look in your... Um, headshot. So someone just called you out of the blue and said, hey, I want to see you today. That's how you should look in your headshot. The hair you always have. If your hair is naturally curly, keep it curly in the headshot because you're not going to straighten your hair every day. And natural makeup. Look just like you. And most photographers actually offer a makeup package. So this is really great for beginners. Um, you can choose to either add the package on and have the professional makeup artist on set um, do your makeup because they're going to know the perfect makeup for the camera. Because makeup on camera and makeup in person is very different. And they're going to know how it should look for a headshot and they're really going to help you out. If you um, don't want to choose that option or you, it's not in your budget, there's some great videos on YouTube on how to do natural makeup and hair for photo shoots and for headshots. So check out those videos and practice. Practice before your uh, headshot session. Next thing is natural light is best. Luckily, most photographers now, they will actually take you outside. <laughs> They'll say, let's go outside and do some shots um, because natural lighting just makes you look fresh, makes you look like your real true self and it's a really good representation of your natural hair tones and your skin tone and things like that. Um, if you're in a studio and it does not have, there's no option to go outside, if there's a window, ask, you know, can I get a few natural light shots by the window? And it'll just make a really good picture. <laughs> I'm trying to explain. When you do a photo in like a dark room with like, um, 
artificial lighting and you do a photo outside or in front of a uh, window with natural lighting, it's very different. They're both well lit, but the natural light just looks fresh and better. Next thing you want to do is you want to focus on the eyes. So when your headshot is on a castings table, it's scattered around with people that probably look like you, um, your type, and they're just kind of like looking, okay, who's going to catch their eye? They're going to look at the eyes first. You want your eyes to be the star of the uh, picture. So you don't want to walk in there with a bright red lip because then the eyes are going to go to the lip. You want people to look right at your eyes when they see your headshots. So this is where you can practice smizing. Anybody remember Tyra Banks and America's Next Top Model? You want to smile with your eyes. So it's not just like, you want to be, bring it to your eyes. So practice in the mirror before your headshot to just really like light up your eyes, smile, and bring your whole face into it. And even when you're not smiling, you're giving like a, serious look um still try to bring some light some energy to your eyes so it's not like but you know just a little little techniques there's some tips and tricks on youtube here you can find on how to smile with your eyes and make your eyes look you know more stand out in your photos and the last thing is you want to show your personality you want to be you you are wonderfully and beautifully unique and there's no one else like you and you got to show a little bit of that natural personality i will say it is hard to do in the two look package um show your personality a little bit but in the two look package you can do it in the colors you choose in the clothes you choose you want to wear you know a denim jacket because you're just like you know that's your style or whatever you just find a little way to bring your true natural self into that um in the five look it's much easier because you can do let's say you're a really comedic silly person you can do one picture with a really big laugh and like a bright colored outfit and a bright background and just show like you know you're this big person full of energy or for more like laid back and serious minded you can wear like a nice suit and do like a, a gray background and just show like you know this this is what you lean more towards or if you're kind of like a rebel you can wear a leather jacket in one of your photos and um show your show your personality that way but there's just find like little ways to show your personality and um, talk to the photographer, bring the lots of different options and talk to the photographer and say, you know what, I want to show my personality and these are some of the things that feel like me, what would look good on camera for the headshots, but also that will make me feel good too. And you can also talk to your agent about this too when you were putting together your looks. I might do a video on some uh, headshot outfits if you want me to, like, comment and put it down below and I will make that video of just different outfits you can put together to um, really get the great headshot looks. Okay, those are my quick tips for how to get some really great headshots and I'll see you next week with another video. Thank you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on my social media. Bye.